Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mick from Oztrax 4x4. Today I'm going to show you the install for the speedo corrector. First up, with your screwdriver, you have your two screws on here. You got one here, one here. Just take them out. And just be careful as your glove box will drop down. Now I have already wired this in, so this is kind of like a little bit of a how-to, but it's already done, so it's after the fact. Because I didn't know what I was doing previously. Next step, take out your glove box, come out, simple as that. Glove box is out. Um, now I've got my speedo corrector hiding down here. I haven't connected it to anything, but I'll pull it up out of the way so you can see it. So you have your IJ1 connector here. So on the back of that, I can't really show you, there's a little button. You press that button, it flicks up, and it's just a matter of pushing it. And then that connector pulls down. Now, on the back of this connector, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but there is, just here, pin six. It's a blue wire with a red trace. That's your speedo wire. So you cut into that. I've just crimped on some connectors so I can rejoin these later if I decide to go back to my standard wheels. Simple as that, you cut it. Um, obviously do one male, one female. Same for the speedo corrector side. Um, just so you can join the wires back up if you need to later on. And that's as easy as that, guys. Splice into that. Join the correct wires up for your speedo corrector. Mine is a yellow wire on the gearbox side and what's that? And a green wire on the instrument cluster side. So simple as that. I've got that wired up, just up back up in here. Uh, I've just gone to power off the cigarette lighter. Pretty simple, not too it, not too hard. And this is your speedo corrector here. This is the hummingbird one. Um, I'll post a link to it in the description. And with this one, you just open the back up on the two screws. So I'll do that now and I'll cut back to this. In the back of the calibrator, you have a whole bunch of fun things. So these are dip switches and a rotary pot. So on your dip switches for this, because it took a little bit of trial and error, one and three have to be on, the rest have to be off. And then just down here, this part is the rotary pot kind of hard to see yeah put that there take it for a drive and uh put a gps speedo app on your phone so you know for how fast you're going and it'll be as easy as turning that little trim pot the right direction to uh get that to adjust on your dash as simple as that it's not a hard thing to do once it's all done hook it back up and put the cover back on and i just tuck it in behind the kick panel for the moment because it's not going to do any damage down there keeps it out the way um, i will mount it somewhere properly eventually always remember hook your connector back up so these are the two white ones you'll see up behind your dash here so it is the one on the right just push it up in there grab your finger from behind and pull down and it'll clip in and lock in as easy as that guys super simple um, I recommend it so you don't have to drive around with a speedo app on your phone all the time which is kind of illegal um, you should be having a functioning speedo um, I am using this with my 33 inch tires and it's reading perfect not a problem so yeah have any questions ask me in the comments below on that guys have a good one and I'll catch you in the next one